Hi folks, I've had a bunch of people asking about updates on the aftermath of our loss in the greenhouse. So I'm going to do a quick video vlog style with this one. So it might be a little shaky and quick, but we'll see how it goes. The strawberry towers are doing okay. Most of the plants came back. I've trimmed them back a little, took off the dead berries. I got a few that did produce some berries, probably about 10% of what we're going to normally get out of these, but at least they're still alive. The remaining population of fish, they're looking pretty good. So I think we shouldn't have any other losses, just the first few from the first couple of days and that was it. I got about 250 small koi here. I drained out the tank a little bit so you could actually see them in here. They've been in quarantine for a few weeks now, so they'll be ready to put in with a main population pretty soon. They're all looking very healthy, so I shouldn't have any problems contaminating the rest of the system with new fish. So the rosemary came back pretty well. Also, the uh, thyme did okay too. In this bed, I planted some spinach and a couple of uh, nasturtium did. The spinach doesn't look like spinach though. I think my brother gave me some odd seeds and I think it's actually radish, but we'll see what happens. There's a couple other little things in here that looks like spinach, so we'll see what we got out of it. The pink lemon tree is doing okay. Had a little weird curling on the leaves, but I think it'll come back okay. The chives did fine too. The celery's still looking pretty good. My oregano is now coming in, which looks good. And the sage plant looks like nothing's ever even happened to it. So that came back great. In this section of the beds, I planted a whole bunch of green beans just to get something growing again in here. They're looking okay. This bed here, I have a bunch of kale coming in and a few beets starting to grow. This bed has a whole bunch of radish coming in, another thyme rebounded pretty good and a whole bunch of collards growing. I think I overplanted these a bit but they'll do okay. And in the raft beds are the first batch of lettuce coming in. Looking pretty good. I even threw a few strawberries in the grow grips here to see how they would do in the rafts. So that's the first batch of lettuce. And then my second batch of lettuce here in my little media bed is doing well and this will be ready for transplant in about a week or so and that will fill in the rest of the system that I haven't planted out yet. Also threw some green beans into the system trying out some one inch grow grips and two inch grow grips see how well they do in those. It's always funny to see the vents open on a nice day like today and still have lots of snow outside too. Doing a quick chemical check. My nitrates are actually about 20, and which is very high for this system. I almost never read anything, um, just mainly because there's no plants in the system to suck anything up. So once that lettuce takes off, that should drive that back down. Nitrites, I, they're always reading at zero, it doesn't matter. Ammonia, I'm at about 0.25, which is fine for this. And my pH, I'm at about, I don't know, 0 .6, 6.6, 6.8, somewhere in there, so I'm happy with that too. So overall, the chemical readings are looking good with this system. So there you have it, real quick update, and we should be in good shape in another month or so, fully up and running. Um, waiting to get some tomatoes and some other good summer crops in here too. So just a matter of time and things will look back to normal. Thanks for watching.